Hey, what's going on? I got my cup of coffee. I got my DBZ shirt on. So you know what that means. It's time to embarrass some physicians. Okay, so today we're gonna be going into anti-anxiety medication. Uh, why it could work and why it's probably not working for most of you or if you're interested in it Why I don't think it might be a good fit, but always go to your physician. You know how it is always question everything you hear That's the problem with America. We don't question anything anymore. So let's jump right into it. What does any anxiety medication actually do? So what do you, if, for most of them anyway, what it's doing is it's bumping up your serotonin. When you have low serotonin, you, you become very compulsive. And I'll give you an example of that. I always know when my serotonin's low because I'll sit with the table mats on my uh, kitchen table. These stupid things right here. That's what I'm talking about. So what I'll pretty much do is I'll readjust them a thousand times. I try getting them aligned perfectly with the grain. One time I spent an hour and 45 minutes. I just sat there, I was sweating, I was getting angry. And what it was was low serotonin. So for compulsive behavior, the anxiety medication would probably work for you. But now the issue is they assume that anxiety is linked to compulsive behavior. Like if you had a problem, you keep thinking about the problem. So you keep running it through your head over and over and over again. And what ends up actually happening is you end up getting fixated on an idea or something. And that that's I could see the compulsive, why they would link it to that. But the only issue is that a lot of stress isn't due to compulsive behavior. You have late bills coming in, you're late for work, your kid won't let you sleep, but you love the little bastard. So a lot of it, I don't think, is anxiety for that reason. I think what it is, is you're, you're full of stress, you get stressed out and the, the problems are literally presenting themselves to you every day. That's causing you to have anxiety. So what I would do is instead of trying to just link it to one issue, our brain is a lot more complex than just to say, hey, bump up the serotonin, get rid of the compulsivity, and then everything will be fine after that. What I would probably do, in my opinion, is take a little bit of Fenibute, probably like 500 milligrams, sprinkle that on your GABA receptor. What's that going to do is going to de-stress you. It's going to bring your confidence level up. It's going to give you kind of that fuck it attitude, and you're, you're going to stop thinking about the problems or fixating them on the issues at hand as much. And if social is a problem for you, social anxiety, then you're definitely going to be able to, you know, wipe that away with, you know, the Fenibue. The next thing would be alpha GPC. You know, not only is it good for choline, so if you don't feel like investing into choline, alpha GPC is a, a decent one to replace it with. It's also going to level the chemicals out in your brain. So, you know, most likely anxiety, your chemicals are a little all over the place. It's probably not a bad idea to just level them out. And the last one, and this is just my personal preference, you sprinkle a little adrafinil in there. And the reason I like adrafinil is just the happy mood. Okay, you got rid of the stress, you got rid of the compulsive behavior, you're, you're now feeling good, but you could be feeling better. So then you sprinkle a little adrafinil, that also bumps your energy up, gets you ready for the day, you can tackle more issues. So me personally, I don't think of our brain as just a one-sided thing where it's like, okay, your serotonin's low, this will fix it. I think there's a couple components in your brain that are linked to each other and if you can kind of just sprinkle a little bit of love on each of them you're going to be 100 percent fine in my opinion but like i said always question me always research you know that's what the computers are for you know research the hell out of all this go to your physician ask them what the the anti-anxiety medication is going to do for you you know another big reason why i always choose nootropics over the medicine is because you got single components single compounds and you're able to choose what you want to control in the brain a little more exact and on top of it you don't get any side effects other than like if you don't stay hydrated or take enough choline you can get a headache or maybe a uh, fenibut if you take it too often there's a chance you can get addicted to it but uh like i said you always cycle you always do that but with these anti-anxieties you get a lot of the side effects which it's like Great, now you got rid of my anxiety, and at the same time, now I'm shitting blood. Okay, maybe that, that was an exaggeration. I'm just dropping some facts here. There's always side effects that come with all these pharmaceuticals. But like I said, uh, I just want to drop my thoughts on anti-anxiety medication. If you take it, if you don't take it, if it works, it doesn't work, definitely leave it down into the in the comments. Uh, like the video, make sure you tag it with a friend. Definitely if you know someone who has social anxiety or a lot of fears or... You know, they're, they're always like in their head a little too much and they can't experience life as much as they want to. Uh, 
tagging me. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. But uh, until next time, guys, remember, new tropics are where the mind takes you to greatness. Woo!